So I'm delighted to be here uh, at this wonderful 1973 50th anniversary celebration at the Strand Hotel with Pat Hartigan, five-time All-Star winner of South Liberties, and Pat, uh, a great time to be celebrating uh, 50 years of a wonderful achievement for this great team that you were involved in. I think what makes it a wonderful achievement is so far as that Limerick won in All-Ireland back in 1940, and then it was took three years, and we came in to bridge the gap by winning one, and it took 45 years for Limerick to win in 2018. So I think that bridging, without bridging that gap of even one All-Ireland, it broke a 78-year cycle because take the 33 and the 45 is a is, is, is an is a 78-year a 78-year cycle, which was quite quite dramatic in, in the context of Limerick hurling, which when we're always regarded and still regarded as one of the top hurling counties. Absolutely, in the country. yeah, absolutely. And uh, that year in 1973, I mean, you'd been in the panel for a few years. You'd won the league in '71, had a couple of disappointments along the way. Did you feel a change in that spring, summer of 73? When, was there any moment that you felt things were going your way? I was fortunate enough to come on the Limerick team in 69. I actually played full forward in the Munster Championship game against uh, Tipperary in the Athletic Grounds in Cork. That was my first championship game with Limerick. And after that, I came into a, a team that was beginning to find a level. We went on to qualify and were beaten by Cork in the league final in 71, or in 70. We won the league in 71 and we were beat by Tip in the Munster final who ultimately went on to win the All-Ireland. We played the league final in 72 in Cork Peters and were beaten in the All-Ireland final themselves. And then 73, we played in the league, didn't win it either, but we had really been building up from 1970 until 73 and the team in 73 then came to maturity and I, I think the maturity that we had throughout that team in that particular year was outstanding because I remember going back in the year of 72 to 73 I think we lost one game and that was the league final in 73 we won the Oroctus in, in, in 71 won the league in 71 and we had a, a fantastic run of success with matches and uh, okay we ultimately lost out in the big one but having won the league in 71 won the Oroctus as I previously said and we're down there to win the All-Ireland and won the championship in 73 culminated in what Limerick had been building up since 1969. And we come to the day itself and it was a terrible wet day in Crow Park against Kilkenny and of course in those days in particular, I suppose, it's, it's a challenge for a player. You're thinking about your boots and you're thinking about the hurley grip and all that kind of thing. So it's quite difficult conditions at Crow Park that day for the final, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was. Well, I suppose in fairness, at that time, the National Hurling League was always played in, in the late autumn and through the winter. And, you know, we were used to a certain amount of, of wet weather and bad weather and heavy pitches. But having come through the Munster Championship, with the top of the ground in Tullus and the top of the ground in Munster in the, in the in Munster Championship, and then you're you're arriving Croke Park for, on a wet day, you know it, it takes a different mindset to to get yourself ready for it. But I think it was something that it was always it could always we always knew there was a possibility of that actually happening. And I think from that point of view, you know, in our own minds, we were ready for it. Yes. Cogs and the boots were important, but we were always, at that time, we could get screwing cogs, and we had cogs for top of the ground, we had cogs for, for heavy ground. So we were, we were, you know, thinking ahead and at that stage as well. Um, at what point in the game did you feel in the other and final that things were going your way and things were clicking on the day itself? What was it? Was there turning points in the game that you can recall? For a lot of us, it was our first time ever, ever being in Crow Park, and... I think that it was our first All Ireland final. And oftentimes, it is somewhat like Limerick in 2018. Your first one is often the one to win. Because if you lose the first one, there is always the danger that you might start questioning yourself and players and people and selectors questioning you as a player also. Yeah. And I think the fact that we got to Club Park and there was a certain freedom about the team from the very word go, and that I think that freedom gave us flexibility 
to go and, and perform the way we did, which on the day, taking into account the conditions. You know, I think it was a phenomenal performance. When you think with a heavy sitter, heavy ground, I know the, pit, the, the game was, I think, 40 minutes aside in 73. That's right. That we scored a goal in 21 points. And I think a goal in 21 points could win the game today for Absolutely. For and uh, with a lighter ball, a drier ground, and more freedom for players to hurl, and different rules, of course. And I think oh, we underestimate the contribution that 101 goal in 21 points contributed to Limerick's success on that day. Absolutely. Not, not, in fact, I'm not sure how many wides we had, but they were, they were few, and, few and far between. Absolutely. Well, Pat, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. It's most well deserved, and it's been a pleasure talking to you today. Yeah, thank it's you. A big honor. It's a big honor to be here. I'm thrilled after 50 years to be have this, and I think we, we owe a debt of gratitude to the county board and to all the people who have performed so much, given so much of their time to not only bring Limerick hurling to the success that it's at today, but also to think of those like ourselves, the 73 team, when they could simply quite easily just leave it, let it lie and move on to another Munster Championship in North Ireland with the current team. I think for them to come back to this level, to give us the occasion that they're giving us today, I think speaks volumes of why Limerick are the success that they come Well said, well said. Thank you very much, Pat. Have a lovely day. Which Most well deserved. Thank, Thank you. you.